In the previous episode, we discussed Jai Moore's belief that the Chinese nation missed the opportunity to awaken ocean awareness and harness the potential of the ocean. Today, the ocean has emerged as a new driver of economic growth for many nations. Ocean development has gained increased significance in national economic development and international trade, while also playing a pivotal role in safeguarding national sovereignty and security. Observing the broader global development trends, it is widely acknowledged that as a major power ascends, it must place a significant focus on maritime affairs. Jai Moore believes that for rapidly emerging powers like China, the primary emphasis in terms of maritime security is on safeguarding their own maritime rights and interests. China's primary maritime security challenge lies in sovereignty disputes that encompass approximately one-third of the sea area, including areas like the Diaoyu Islands and the Nansha Islands. Certain neighboring countries have exploited their strategic geographic positions to illicitly claim Chinese islands and reefs, resulting in conflicts and posing a severe threat to China's maritime sovereignty. Furthermore, China is facing a grim marine ecological situation, with pressing issues of ocean pollution and ecological imbalances that demand immediate attention and resolution. Jai Moore also identified several issues that need to be addressed in the context of ocean development. These include the low utilization rate of ocean resources, outdated development methods and technologies for certain resources, which not only raise the challenges and financial investments in ocean development but also contribute to pollution and the degradation of the marine environment. Moreover, a predominant tendency among the population to prioritize land over the sea persists, leading to a relative lack of sea power concepts and a limited awareness of the significance of the ocean. Furthermore, China's efforts in educating and raising awareness about the ocean are somewhat deficient, resulting in a lack of accessible channels for the public to acquire fundamental ocean knowledge. Jai Moore firmly believes that for China to achieve maritime power status, it is imperative to invest in maritime science education and nurture maritime expertise. This strategic move is pivotal for China's ocean development, coastal defense, and protection of national maritime rights and interests. As a result, he is focused on establishing schools and facilities and has founded sailing training centers in Beijing, Hainan, and other regions. These centers are dedicated to nurturing a new generation of sailing enthusiasts who are passionate, explorative, and eager to take on challenges in this modern era. Among these, the schools in Beijing primarily offer maritime science education for teenagers, whereas those in Hainan concentrate on providing training for adults. Currently, there is still a shortage of sailing talent in China, and the number of sailing training schools is insufficient. Jai Moore also plans to open more schools in various cities in the future to cater to a larger audience and make a greater contribution to China's maritime science education. Jai Moore believes that the current understanding of navigation by most people is indeed too limited. In some aspects, our understanding of nature remains superficial. While we can reach the highest mountain peaks, we have yet to explore the deepest seabeds. Sailing is a sport that relies on tacit cooperation with nature, harnessing the power of wind and water to experience the boundless joys of sailing on the sea. Navigators must learn to harness their subjective initiative and courageously confront the various challenges encountered during their voyages, fostering resilience, composure, cheerfulness, and confidence. One must be proficient in astronomy, geography, and natural sciences, possess learning and decision-making capabilities, exhibit self-confidence, concentration, and creativity, as well as excel in risk and goal management. When more and more people possess navigation knowledge, have a marine spirit, and are willing to run to the sea, the spiritual outlook of the entire nation will also be different. When these energies are directed toward maritime endeavors, the nation's maritime development will experience significant growth, concurrently boosting the overall national strength. In the future, Jai Moore will progressively disseminate navigation knowledge to the public, commencing with young individuals, to fundamentally transform the public's perception of the maritime spirit and make his modest contribution to China's maritime industry development.
Okay.